Confirmation hearings going to begin today for Judge Ketanji Brown Jackson. Now she's the first black woman nominated to the Supreme Court. Our Washington correspondent Rashad Hudson joining us live now with more on this historic nominee. Good morning, Rashad. Good morning, Randy and Bill. Republicans say they plan to keep these confirmation hearings at a high level, meaning no personal attacks against Judge Jackson, but Democrats say the attacks have already started. Judiciary Committee begins high profile confirmation hearings for Judge Katanji Brown Jackson. Senate Republican leader Mitch McConnell pledges that Republicans will be respectful during the hearings. She'll be treated much better than Democrats have typically treated Republican nominees like Clarence Thomas and Brett Kavanaugh. But the attacks have already started. Missouri Senator Josh Hawley is accusing Jackson of being too soft on crimes against children. He has a record of being consistently lenient to, soft on child sex offenders. But chair of the Senate Judiciary Committee, Illinois Senator Dick Durbin, calls the claims against Jackson false and says she has the support of law enforcement. As far as Senator Hawley is concerned, here's the bottom line. He's wrong. He's inaccurate and unfair in his analysis. And the White House is also pushing back against the claims, calling their nominee an excellent choice. So this attack that we've seen over the last couple of days relies on factual inaccuracies and taking Judge Jackson's record wildly out of context. While Democrats have the votes to confirm Judge Jackson, they are hoping to win over some Republicans this week during those hearings. Reporting in Washington, Rashad Hudson, back to you.